there, Crochet CJ here, episode 49. So it's good to see everybody today. If you don't know me, I'm a mom and wife and midwife, uh, and I'm a born-again Christian, and I love people enough to tell them that. It's great to see you guys again. I think I may be back in a little bit of a groove. I won't say that too soon. Uh, it's just my third video since coming back from my little hiatus. So today is Saturday, December the 11th. And I'm just doing a little quick video. Um, I get, was getting ready for my ladies Christmas brunch at church. I'm so excited, can't wait to go. I am mobile and I am wearing a shoe with an ankle brace and walking with my pretty red cane that I bought off Amazon. <laughs> It's one of those with the four feet. It's really stable. Anyway, it's cool. Um, I do okay without the cane, but just for stability's sake, while I'm getting used to this, I have to wear the brace for two weeks. Um, but it's exciting to be out of the boot. So, yay! Uh, I can drive now, which is exciting. I've been driving. Uh, my husband's even like, when we go out for the day to do things, he's letting me drive all the time because he knows I miss driving. I know, kind of funny. Um, so, finished objects. I only have one set of finished objects, and it's these vanilla socks that I put on the sock thing just so you can see what they look like, but I need to, I need to um, wet them down and put them on the sock stretcher so they'll so they'll actually fit where the heel goes. Uh, these are my favorite vanilla socks from, uh, yeah, I can't think of her name right now. Anyway, so they're made with, this is Old Glory sock yarn from uh, Show Me Yarns in Missouri. And then this is Plymouth Yarns. I think the color is crimson. I did find it and I put it under the last description, but I'll put it under this one too. And they're, uh, you know, cuff down socks. I elected to do contrasting heels, toes, and cuffs. And I kind of like doing it that way. Um, anyway, those are for my friend. And I'm gonna get those blocked and get them sent to her. Uh, that's really the only finished object I have. I haven't done anything with my Cricut and I haven't been sewing this week. Um, I worked on some other socks for a friend. I think I have the pattern figured out. I'm kind of writing my own pattern based off of other people's ideas because I don't like the way the pattern's written. So I'm gonna do that. Um, so that's my joy in progress, is working on those socks for her. I've got another set to start for a friend of mine. We're kind of swapping crafts. She's making some things for me to give for Christmas, and I'm making something for her to give for Christmas, so that's exciting. I always think it's great when you can swap, you know, projects with your crafty friends, because some things they do better than you do, you know, even though I can crochet, uh, and I can crochet amigurumi. I'm not as fast, and I don't think I'm as neat with amigurumi as possibly she is, so she's doing that. And what I'm doing, she could do too. Uh, it's just that I am writing the pattern, and she's like, cool, take care of it. <laughs> so anyway, that works out well. I always like doing that. Um, other joys in progress, I am making some t-shirts for my kids and grandkids and my husband and myself to wear when we're all together at Christmas so we can have a family picture. And it is a, I'll show you the shirt when I get it done. I'm hoping to get that done this week and then next week hopefully I can get that on a video. Uh, but it's our family Christmas movie is Christmas Vacation. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm distracted. I have a big dog sitting here who thinks he needs lots of attention. And I'm giving it to him because, you know, what do you do? <laughs> um, anyway, I'll get, when I get that shirt done, I'll show you guys. Um, acquisitions, I've decided I'm gonna show you just little bits from the gifts I've received. Um, 
for Christmas every time I do a video. Maybe not all at once, uh, but I, uh, this beautiful, it's a cowl, and it's like a bandana cowl, and it is so gorgeous. I don't know what the pattern is. I can always ask her what the pattern is, but it just, it's just so pretty. I just love it. And these colors are just me. Anyway, and um, so it's super comfortable. It's perfect like inside of a coat or a jacket or something because, you know, it covers, but it's not so bulky that it's gonna get in the way of that. Um, but that was a Christmas gift from my friend Myrie. Uh, and then <laughs> I bought this at Burke's. Isn't that cute? I like peanuts. I think they're so fun. Anyway, so I got that yesterday at Burke's when we were out gallivanting. Um, went to Burke's just to kind of really kill some time because I was waiting for Bath and Body Works to open. And then we went in there and I got some hand soaps. I like their foaming hand soaps. And I was down to one spare and so I needed to get some more. So I picked up, there's six for $27, so I picked up six of them. Not an ad for Bath and Body Works. I like their stuff. I know I could probably get soap cheaper somewhere else, but I like their stuff. And when it's on sale, I'm not too fussed about it. Um, and then we went to, um, oh my goodness, where did we go after that? We went to World Market. Sorry, total brain fog. Senior moment, the gray hair's working well. Um, we went to World Market down in Tulsa because World Market has all sorts of cool things, you know, and I just love going in there and shopping. And so went in just kind of looking. I was hoping to find some of the Twinings Holiday Berry Tea because the last time I bought it, I bought it at Tuesday morning. And when I looked last time, they didn't have any this year, you know, and they don't always get the same thing in all the time. But I thought World Market. So World Market has a nice selection of Twinings. I wish you could see my dog. He's now like under the tripod. <laughs> He's a little nuts. Anyway, so I went back and checked their twinings, you know, on their back wall, because it's kind of their basic stock, and they didn't have any. And I had looked around the store, and I asked somebody who works there if they had any of the holiday berry twinings. She said, oh, if, if we have it, it's on the back wall. And I was like, mm, well, no, it isn't. But... <laughs> I decided she really didn't know very much about what they had probably and was probably holiday help and I'm not going to argue with you so I just ended up not getting any tea. Um, but that's okay. I had a nice browse and enjoyed looking around. And then we went to one of my favorite places for lunch, Ted's Escondido Cafe. I don't know if you guys have Ted's where you live. But they do like complimentary queso and tortillas and sopapillas and it's delicious. Um, my husband's coming in, so I gotta wrap this up. These are from Hedgehog Fibers. I love Hedgehog Fibers. This one is Shamrock. This one is Phoenix. They are, um, this is 80% blue face Lester and 20% nylon, and this one is 100% merino wool. They are made in Ireland. I really love their stuff, and I've had some of it before, and my dear friend Mary sent me that for Christmas stuff, and she's sweet. Anyway, I will be back soon, and you guys have a great week. I'm going to go enjoy myself at my party, and just remember that Jesus loves you, and so do I. Bye.